This clinical case study, courtesy of Dr. Paolo Montero from Italy, demonstrates a class 4 restoration of a fractured incisor using a dual shade technique. It was created using the A1 recipe and technique developed by Style Italiano. The recipe uses Denton shade A1 and enamel shade A3 of Filtex Supreme XTE Universal Restorative. The products used during the procedure include Scotch Bond Universal Adhesive, Filtex Supreme XTE Universal Restorative, and Softlex Spiral Finishing and Polishing Wheels. Together, they optimize the outcome and maximize the simplicity of the procedure. Filtex Supreme XTE Restorative provides beautiful, natural looking aesthetics. Scotch Bond Universal Adhesive provides high bond strength with a one step application and Softlex Spiral Wheels polish all tooth surfaces with one spiral shape. In the following case, a 12-year-old patient had a fractured upper right central incisor. The fractured tooth tested vital with no pulpal involvement. Close examination of the adjacent central incisor revealed a stratified appearance with a highly chromatic dentin core surrounded by higher value enamel. The goal in this case was to duplicate this effect on the fractured incisor using a simple dual shade layering technique and Filtech Supreme XTE Universal Restoratives. While this restoration could have been completed freehand, a diagnostic wax up on a stone model greatly simplified reconstruction to the desired anatomic form. A putty matrix was constructed using 3MSB Express 2 Putty Quick VPS impression material and carefully trimmed to the apex of the incisal edge. The fit was then confirmed on the model after removing the wax up. At the return appointment, the shade was determined while the teeth were fully hydrated using the VitaPan Classical Shade Guide. In this case, the A1 tab was the best match. A rubber dam was placed and ligated with floss. Once isolation was complete, the fit of the matrix was confirmed. Then cavity preparation started by refining the exposed dentin with a ceramic burr at low speed. Next, the vestibular bevel was prepared using a fine diamond burr, followed by using a coarse grit Softlex extra thin disc for refinement. This disc was also used to round off any sharp angles on the preparation. The goal was to create a conservative bevel as shown. To start the bonding procedure, the enamel was treated with the selective etch technique using 32% phosphoric acid gel. After 15 seconds, the tooth was thoroughly rinsed and gently dried. Scotch Bond Universal Adhesive was applied to the tooth with a rubbing motion for 20 seconds, then air dried until the adhesive did not move under the force of a gentle stream of air. After a shiny, uniformly thin layer of adhesive was observed, the adhesive was light cured for 10 seconds. Next, a thin layer of composite was bonded to the preparation to create the palatal wall and incisal and proximal outlines as captured by the silicone key. First, a thin layer of A3 enamel, no more than a few tenths of a millimeter, was adapted to the silicone matrix. The silicone matrix was then inserted, verified for accurate placement, and the enamel shell was light cured. The silicone matrix was carefully removed, leaving a thin enamel shell on which to build the body of the restoration. Denton shade A1 was used to create the body of the restoration, shown here after placement on the palatal shell. Note, it's important to contour this layer to a thickness that leaves 0.5 millimeters for the overlaying enamel layer. An easy way to contour to the appropriate thickness is by using a Mazura instrument where the end of the instrument rides along the vestibular surface, just apical to the bevel and the conical part, using the incisal edge of the palatal shell as a guide. Moving the instrument in a proximal direction shapes the body layer to the correct thickness. The desired body shade thickness can also be contoured using a periodontal probe. In this method, the end of the probe is supported on the innermost area of the vestibular bevel, and the distal edge of the probe is guided by the incisal edge of the palatal shell. As with the Mazura instrument, the probe is moved proximally to create the appropriate thickness. After the body of the dentin layer was shaped to the correct thickness, mamelins were contoured and the layer was light cured. Next, 
The outer layer was created using A3 enamel. An acetate matrix was used to help define the mesial contour. Once the composite was applied to the facial contour and abutting the acetate matrix, the matrix was pulled in a labial to palatal direction to form the proximal contour. After the proximal contour was formed, additional vestibular contouring was easily achieved with brushes. The restoration was then ready for final light curing. Final contour was achieved with a fine, yellow stripe, diamond burr. A silicone disc was used to soften texture caused by the diamond burr. The restoration was then brought to a natural gloss, first using a beige Softlex spiral finishing wheel, followed by the white Softlex spiral polishing wheel. The unique shape of the wheels allowed all surfaces of the restoration to be polished easily, saving time. Immediately after the rubber dam was removed, the restorations showed a nice match with surrounding dentition, despite the severely dehydrated teeth. One week later, when the natural teeth had become rehydrated, the restoration showed a beautiful match that was virtually undetectable, mimicking the natural translucency of the adjacent teeth with only two shades. The optimum outcome was achieved with maximum simplicity. The restorative procedure solution combines proven products together as one simple solution to help you achieve great looking restorations for the long term.